Hey, what's up y'all, it's Darius from DariusCooks.tv and I'm about to show you how to make the ultimate macaroni and cheese. This is probably, uh, is it probably? Yeah, I think it's probably my like top, one of my top recipes, this one and the fried chicken. But um, you, everybody wants to learn how to make it and uh, I'm gonna show you. And there are no eggs in the mac and cheese, okay? On the stove, I got a pot of water boiling. I'm gonna add some salt to the water. Always have two golden rules when it comes to cooking pasta. And that is over salt the water and of course, I'm gonna cook the pasta. Now, you could use regular macaroni and you know, there's a time and place for that. But I have these little uh, corkscrew pasta shaped with the ridges because they hold on to the sauce. So we're gonna use those into our boiling water. All right, my pasta is al dente, so let's go ahead and drain this out. Let's make the sauce. So into the pot, I have a stick of butter that I'm gonna add in here. And then to that butter, I'm gonna toss in a little bit of flour. And I'm just gonna stir the flour and the butter together to make what we know as a roux. So we're gonna do a light skin roux, or the real term for it is a blonde roux. So we're gonna add in our half and half and just whisk it in. That way we have no lumps. Let's season that by adding in some salt, black pepper, a couple more flavoring agents. So I have some garlic powder to do a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of smoked paprika, how about that? Just whisk that together. And as soon as this comes to a boil, It'll thicken and then we'll be ready to continue on our mac and cheese journey. All right, let's do it. So I have our corkscrew pasta. And again, you can use uh, regular elbow macaroni. That works absolutely okay uh, in this particular situation. The one thing I do that I think is so crucial to the mac and cheese is I add in a hefty amount of sour cream, right? You can't taste the sour cream, but what it does is it just gives the macaroni and cheese this sort of moistness that is kind of outstanding. Another thing I like to add, and I know there's going to be lots of comments about this, but I need an American cheese, a processed American cheese product in the mac and cheese. I just cut it and cube it, and then we can throw it right into uh, the mac and cheese like that. That way, as the mac and cheese cooks, this sort of melts down and gives us a really nice surprise every couple of forkfuls, you know what I mean? This is the bechamel or the sauce that we made, just a little thick and cream sauce, right? That we may look at that. Ooh, wee, that looks good. Now let's give that a, a mix before we add in our cheese. Oh my God, that's part, ooh, ooh, yes. I have a four cheese blend, I have a mozzarella, I have a sharp cheddar, and then I have a white cheddar blend. The cheese don't even matter, okay? If you don't do this part right, this part don't even matter. Let's add this to our casserole dish. That's gorgeous, right? All right, now we're just gonna top it with the remaining cheese. All right, there we go, right? Look at that mac and cheese off to a hot oven. I mean, this is the part I hate the most, you know? I always say that, but look at that. Oh. If your mac and cheese ain't doing that, I mean, is it really even worth calling it mac and cheese? This is the ultimate, okay? I mean, what am I gonna say? Hmm? I'll tell you what, I'll say this. The recipe on my website, DariusCooks.tv. Two things, food is my life life. It's my food, y'all. Until next time, I gotta wish you a happy cooking. Oh, from my heart to yours. <laughs> Bye, y'all.